I get pork bun. Mmm. Oh my god, it's so good. Earth and gird. Mm -hmm. We know how to get to. Uh, there we go. Use the, the, the lid. Oh, so we don't really need waste. Ooh. Spread it on. Yep. Ooh. Mmm, that changes everything. Hello! Hello! We are at JFK, headed to Oakland, California. We're gonna check out, we're actually gonna check out Napa Valley. We're also gonna go to Monterey. Yeah, Monterey. Monterey. And we're gonna cook. And we're gonna cook. We're gonna eat well. Really well. I'm excited. What about you? Yeah, we're gonna do it? Mm -hmm. Alright. See you there. And of course, what's the first thing you do once you get into California? You go to In N Out, of course. Animal style. What's good, everyone? We are getting ready to go out to Napa on this rainy Friday. We are gonna be uh, tasting a bunch of wines today. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, we're kind of carb loading this morning. We're getting some bagels. We brought some bagels over from New York. So, proper bagels, that is. Proper bagels. Because we do bagels right. Oh. Is that right? Yes, we do. We do bagels right. Do bagels right. Stay tuned, we've got a lot of wine coming at you. Cali. We are at Chandon. We're gonna have some bubbly here today. Here in California. Oh, this is a beautiful shot, Joined here by my other bird. Hi! And our peeps. Kush. We're here in the rain and it's awesome because there's no crowds. There's no crowds. Crowded. It's the best time. We got the best guides here, right up front in the two umbrellas. It's time for the vino. It's time for the vino. It's time for the vino from our vino. Yeah. Explain the tasting to you. <laughs> you have these choices, and then these are less commonly available or not available at all outside of here. This has more sweetness. The, the classic, yeah. Or you can do buy the glass or bottle. So you're getting sparkling classic. Yes the first one on the vintage, so we only do vintage wines when they're exceptional years. Um, and they're very special because not only is it a single year, but it's a single location. So this comes from Carneros, which is where we have our largest vineyard. It's mostly pinot based, so you get high acidity levels. Uh, very refreshing, it's crisp, it's uh, clean, it's refreshing, goes great with spicy foods. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll have the sparkling vintage. Vintage and then this one I can go Oh, wow, it's super dry. This was a glass of Vintage Mount Vitre Brut 2013. It was a little sweet and reminded me of apple, pear, butter, and had a super crisp, clean finish. We liked it so much, we even bought a couple of bottles for home. Definitely Indian food worthy. That's good. That's really good. I like that. Shandon was a great winery to visit. The wines were light, bubbly, and delicious. Tasting flights range from $20 to $35. Reservations are not needed, but they do specialize in large group party reservations. We're a little tipsy, so it's time to get some food. We're a lot tipsy, Bouchon. actually. I'm a lot tipsy. I'm yeah. She was kind of double fisting a little bit, so. Yeah, you know. I think it's time to get some cushion. Carbs to. I had to compensate for Carb load. 
carb load with carb cheese. Carb load, yeah. and then get drunk again. again. <laughs> so we are on our way to Bouchon Bakery. Bouchon. Bouchon. So it's time to get some food. Well, because we've got a lot more to go. Oh no, we don't What's our next stop after Bouchon? Joseph Phelps. Joseph Phelps. Joseph Phelps. So that's a heavy hitter right there. One of California's <laughs> finest. One of Napa Valley's finest. So we will see you guys there. But first, it's time to get some food. Peace. Bye. This is the original Bouchon Bakery that Chef Thomas Keller opened in 2003. It's a notorious pit stop for both locals and wine tasters alike. It makes delicious breads, pastries, sandwiches, and coffee. If you have time to eat a full meal, Bouchon Bistro is a sit-down restaurant right next door. Since we were a little slow getting out this morning, we grabbed a quick bite to eat. Joseph Phelps founded this winery in 1973. It is family owned and operated with vineyards in both Napa and the Sonoma Coast. Their property is farmed under sustainable guidelines designed to protect the health of the soils, the vines, and the plants and wildlife around it. The great care and attention to detail in every aspect of this beautiful place really left an impression on us. So we are about to have a Joseph Phelps tasting. They're setting it up for us now. Super excited. We took the Cabernet Sauvignon Barrel Seminar. It helped us learn and differentiate how wines can be influenced when they're aged in either American or French oak barrels and how the finishing toast of the barrel can bring different qualities to the wine such as vanilla, dill, toasted coconut, cinnamon, or clove. Please note that the wine tastings at Joseph Phelps are done by appointment only. So if you would like to schedule one or for more information, we have provided the link in the description of this video. We are at Alpha Omega, one of Dara's favorite types of wines here. Last time I was here, the tasting room was still being built, so yeah. it's been a long time. Yeah. So now... So it's nice to see them succeed. Yeah. This is my first time here actually. Stara's was second time? Maybe third? Maybe third. We're doing the uh, current tasting right now. How's it so far? We're only up to our first one. Number one. Number one. Kush is enjoying right now. Established in 2006, Alpha Omega combines old world European style winemaking with new world techniques, resulting in Bordeaux esque styled wine. So this is the Anneau Chardonnay, stainless steel on the leaves for six months. So basically, um, if you have it on the leaves, it gives it a little more body as far as texture goes. Um, but it's only in stainless steel, so you're not going to get any um, other flavors that you would get from uh, malolactic or oak. Um, so you're just going to get the flavor of the grape itself, and in this instance it's going to be maybe Granny Smith and Pear. The favorite out of our tasting and our take-home bottle was the ever so jammy 2015 Cabernet Sauvignon. Cheers guys! I do like this thing. I don't, I don't, I like yeah, when I, I like the paper from well. Then, yeah. Reservations for Alpha Omega are not necessary, but are highly recommended. For more information, please visit our blog. We will also blog about other vineyards and restaurants we have been to in Napa, Sonoma, and Anderson Valleys.